All right, so for IAMI 60cc mini qualifying, we go out onto the racetrack here. We got a good look at them at the end of practice. Here's a look at some of the action going on across the way at the Thompson Raceway Park drag strip here just next door has got some points racing going on today. So there's action all across this facility here in Thompson, Ohio. Action here on the cart track, action over on the drag strip. And for the Ohio Sprint Series, we've got three classes still yet to know where they will line up for their pre-final later this morning. This one, the first of the three, the IAMI 60cc Mini. Cole Vetter on that 110 comp cart. First across the line, Logan McCloskey crossing as well. Here is the 181 going across. That's Grimmy Boss. Uh, They're moving up from the kid card division last season. And I believe we're missing Anna McCrone, who is supposed to be on track as well. That would make it five. We've got four turning laps so far. So here comes the 1-0-2. That's Logan McCloskey there on the Nitro card on by. Cole Vetter, 28-0. McCloskey, 27-96. A good tight start uh, here in uh, 60cc Mini. Yeah, Nicholas Lester. Lester also dropped the time with a 28.63. Remy Boss, who's now coming across the line, a little bit off the pace quite a bit, 35.01. So has a little bit of work to do, but as they work their way around, Cole Vetter, 27.223. Definitely going to be the one to watch in this class. Yeah, Cole Vetter, let's see what Logan McCloskey does. His second lap, even better. McCloskey, 27.11 for the second lap in a row. He'll just uh, edge out Cole Vetter. And Nicholas Lesseter will see how much he improves on his second lap at warm tire temperatures. Uh, the driver sitting in third. It won't be enough to really move the needle much. 28-22 on lap number two for the 117. Remy Boss, though, at six seconds off. That's what they had a bit of a parent meeting for right at the end of practice just to keep an eye on potential lap traffic. That could be the case here in this one for the IAMI 60cc mini class. Nicholas Lesseter's third lap a little better. 27.56, he'll pull within a half second of the top two. He certainly will. He's got a little bit of work to do as he comes on across with his third lap. We're going to see what McCloskey and Vetter does as they come across line. Two laps to go for Vetter. 27.91 by the looks of it as he comes across the line. Here comes McCloskey, a 27.11. Very fast lap time for him right now. Yeah, 27.11, that's very consistent as well. It was a 27.11. Uh, the lap, uh, two laps prior for Logan McCloskey. So he's looking good for that three lap average, maybe even that overall of the total classes three lap average bonus. Although the 117, uh, Nicholas Lesseter here trying to work his way around Remy Boss. He's closed down to back within a second again at a 2740 improved, but this fifth lap gonna get hurt as he gets around Remy, coming to the finish line to the timing loop. He'll start the final lap a little bit slower. Logan McCloskey hasn't bumped off the top step though. Cole Vetter with a burner on lap five, 26-47. These kids have picked up a lot of speed as they've gotten confidence over the course of the session. Now Cole Vetter sits atop by two tenths. Really picking up the pace here as we pick the 177 uh, or 117 up right now. Uh, Nicholas Lester as he comes through the final couple of corners here. Let's see if he's gonna be able to improve on his lap time. Checkered flag is out for him. A 27.376 as for the rest of the field, a 26.453 for Cole Vetter, a 26.515 for Logan McCloskey. So nothing major through the field. Six laps done and dusted for IAMI 60cc mini. Cole Vetter versus Logan McCloskey. It'll come down to the wire on that one based on the three-lap average. Uh, Cole Vetter, quickest on the single lap. McCloskey had a fist in the air. I think he may be a little better on the three-lap average that will set the group, but they'll be the front row for later on in the day as they pull.